Hey folks, this is the Mega Constructs Call of Duty Hazmat Lab Armory set. A continuation of the line that they've had going for a while now with the shipping containers, the ISO style intermodal shipping containers converted over for some tactical field use. This one, instead of just having a simple recolor of the shipping container and uh, possibly a different print, this one also has a door in the side of it that is able to be opened up to let you get inside the lab without opening the ends. You can also open up the end down here with the standard doors. Sorry about that guy, I'll get you up in a minute. But these open up to let you see the full space inside. There's not much inside, but there is some stuff inside. I'll show you in just a minute. I like the colors on this. It looks fairly worn, and I also like the print on the outside. And we've got a little bit of a stoop out here. This is a a canister, a gas canister. It could be oxygen or it could be something toxic. We've got a light outside here as well. A nice simple build, but that's pretty much it for what you can see from the outside. Let me bring this all the way around so you can see the unprinted side and that's just how the plastic looks. So you can see how it was injected from a spot back here. It might be on the, the other side and you can just see the pattern of how the different types of plastic were very quickly moving through the mold, but yeah, it's it's interesting and it's different. To really see the detail inside, I'm gonna take the roof off so you can get some light in there. And there's a heads up display. Uh, it's supposed to represent uh, a monitor and they're showing some DNA, probably supposed to be looking for telltale signs of some mutation. This is just a counter here. So I think this is either supposed to be only a remote monitor that you hook hook up to wirelessly or uh, uh, maybe a touch screen because I was expecting this to actually have a print on it for a, a keyboard but it doesn't have any such thing and then just on the wall over there are a couple of vials and there are two builds for those and you know one of them just shows the vial being half full and the other one is absolutely full those have narrow standard bar sized tops so you can put them in the hand of a figure the two figures are hazmat techs with mostly the same pieces used for their bodies. Obviously the heads are different. The vests are the same, uh, arms and legs are the same, but the torsos are actually different between these two. Not that it matters that much given that they are pretty well covered up. The weapons are different obviously, but I am very happy to see actual washes being used here. And unfortunately not every piece gets the wash because the shoulder joints don't get those uh, so that's something that uh, customizers or you know consumers will possibly want to finish up with just a, a little extra matte black to help those to blend in a little bit better from the sides and the backs but for the most part these look pretty dirty and you know weathered down a bit which is much better than leaving them just completely plain and all, all yellow. Get one Erlenmeyer flask there with an anti-stud on the underside so you can actually place it on top of something securely. And the canister for the guy on the right is built up from four pieces. Simple build, but it's nice to put together. Small details always. And that's just it for this set. These do have uh, removable pieces so the face mask on the right comes off but doesn't really do anything, just reveals the painted eyes and eyebrows that you can already see. And the guy on the left has the new standard T-shaped uh, head accessory style. So the hood here pops off and uh, is interchangeable with some others that use this same system, but it's not like you're gonna use this like this. So if you if you have another piece that, uh, that will fit with that system, then it'll work for you. But for the most part, you know, it's something that's not going to help consumers all that much for at least for this one. I've liked all of these shipping container based sets thus far and this is surprisingly one of my favorites mostly because of the color scheme and the fact that there's, there's a little bit more going on with the container itself. I also like the figures and you know, we don't get hazmat dudes all that frequently anymore. Uh, I guess we haven't gotten that many in in total but you know they're, they're just different. They're they're distinct and they, they don't fit in as well with the rest of the line that's been made to date, just with their appearance. And everything here is done with pretty good quality. Hopefully the releases of Call of Duty stuff will ramp up again soon. There's been a ton of uncertainty about the entire line, and I think there still is 
we shall see if more of the proper buildable sets come out in the coming months. But regardless of distribution and marketing issues, definitely the designers are still on their game and doing good work. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again as soon as I can.